In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use variables and expressions in Paint Code 2. With expressions, you can easily create variables that depend on other variables and library items. Let's create two rectangles. Now I'd like to make the width of the first rectangle parametric, and I'd also like the second rectangle to always be twice as wide as the first rectangle. Let's create a new variable called width. The value of this variable will be 68. That's the current width of the first rectangle. Then I'll connect this variable to the width attribute of the first rectangle. When I change the value of this variable, you can see that the width of the first rectangle changes too. To make the second rectangle twice as wide as the first, I'll create a special kind of variable called an expression. Essentially, we've added a tiny programming language to paint code. Syntactically, the language is a small subset of JavaScript and C, and very easy to use. You can use basic mathematical and logical operators, and reference other variables by name. This means you can create variables that depend on other variables. Basic mathematical functions such as square root and round are also available. You can even reference colors, gradients, and shadows in your expressions. In this case, we'll use a very simple expression. Let's just multiply the width variable by 2. Now I can connect this expression to the width attribute of the second rectangle. When I change the value of the first variable, you can see that the width of the second rectangle also changes. To use an expression in a more advanced example, I'll show you how to make a shape move around in a wavy pattern. For this, I'll create a small circle. Next, let's create a position variable and connect this variable to the x attribute of the circle. When I change this variable, you can see that the shape moves. I'll now show you a different way to create new variables. First, I'll disconnect this position variable from x attribute and delete it. To create the variable again, I can use the connection dot in the header of the variables list. This connection dot doesn't belong to any existing variable. Instead, you can use it to connect and create a new variable simultaneously. Let's use this special connection dot. As usual, just drag the connection on a shape on the canvas and release the mouse button. A contextual menu with all available attributes is displayed. Just select the attribute to which you want to connect the new variable. Once I choose the x attribute, a new variable is created and connected automatically. I'll rename it position. The value of the new variable was automatically taken from the current value of the shape's x attribute. Now to make the circle move in a wavy pattern, I'll create another variable called bounce. In the expression, I'll use a sign function and mathematical operators to achieve this effect. Finally, let's connect this variable to the y attribute of the shape. You can see that now, when I change the value of the position variable, the circle moves in a wavy pattern. Thanks for watching.